Hey guys, it's Beth, and today I'm making a decorative barn. I used two of these house shelf sitters from Dollar Tree. They were from Valentine's Day, but they have them for all different seasons. Some super jumbo craft sticks and stir sticks from Walmart. Two bamboo skewers. Two pieces of plank wood. Those were from Dollar Tree, but Walmart also has them. A piece of cardboard with the top layer removed. Burnt umber acrylic paint, plaster chalk paint, Gorilla Glue, and hot glue. I started by taking the piece of plank wood and holding it on the side of the house. And the plank wood is not quite big enough, so I take the Super Jumbo Craft Sticks and I put one a little bit further down than the plank wood to make it longer. And then I just keep overlapping the Jumbo Craft Sticks one on top of the other, and then I just keep marking them to where they need to go to make sure that it covers the entire piece, and then hot gluing them one on top of the other, and they are overlapped a little bit. Once I have all the pieces glued on, I just use some Fisker shears and cut off the excess craft stick on the edges and sand it, and I make two of those. And then I take plaster chalk paint, paint those two side pieces of the barn with that, and I do two coats. And then on the front side of the houses, paint those with the plaster chalk paint as well. And those, to cover the words, took three coats. And then I use the burnt umber acrylic paint to paint the roof on each of those houses, just needing to do the very front of those. And then I took the stir stick type craft sticks to make a door. I cut down two pieces about the same length. Those are the sides of the doors. And then two pieces for the top and bottom. So making like a little box and then a line a stir stick in the center and then cut down the bamboo skewers to make an X inside each door. And then I made a window above those. So like a rectangle with the skewers in the center. And then keeping those pieces separate for the door and window, I painted them with the burnt umber acrylic paint. And I just did one coat on one side of those. And then I took the burnt umber paint again and distressed the sides of each of those houses just blended it with my finger and then the, did the same on the bottom sides of the craft sticks that are the sides of the barn and again blending it with my finger. Once all the pieces were dry I took them and set them up first how I wanted them to go. So first starting with the door once I had them set up then I took a piece at a time and hot glued them down into place. Once the frame of the door was made, I took the skewer, made sure it was cut down enough to fit inside that door, put a small amount of hot glue on one side, and then put it in there at an angle. I did that on both doors, and then took one of the other skewers, cut it down to cross over either side of that first skewer, just so it makes an X in both doors. And then I did the same process for the window.
And then I need to put the sides on the barn. So I put some Gorilla Grip Glue and hot glue on one of the sides of the houses and glued down my plank wood with my craft sticks. And then I added the other house to the other side of that piece of plank wood. And then did the same to the other side, adding the piece of plank wood with the Gorilla Glue and hot glue. And then after I had this put together, I didn't like how the sides of the plank wood showed. So I used some small craft sticks, cut those down to fit on the sides. And I cut eight of those, so two on each corner. And then I just hot glued them into like an L so a corner piece of the barn. So each corner has two craft sticks. And then once I have those glued on, I paint them with the plaster chalk paint and distress them again with the burnt umber. Next, I took my cardboard, held it up onto the roof, and then saw how much I wanted it to overhang and then trimmed up that piece on one side. Placed it down again, and then kind of held it along the roof and cut out a notch for the little chimney that's on one side. And then I placed it on again and on the other side of the house that I had not started with, just cut off the excess to make sure that they kind of matched up on both sides. So it was the same amount overhanging on either side. And then trimmed up where the other chimney was going to sit on the cardboard. Just kept placing it on there, making sure I had it set right. And to do this with the cardboard, I just took a old cardboard box, cut a piece, and I sprayed it with some water, let it sit for a few minutes, and then the top layer, you can remove it right off, leaving this cool looking cardboard piece. And then I painted it with the Burnt Umber acrylic paint, just one coat. And then once it was dry, I started by hot gluing a section at a time, placing that down, putting it over the chimney, and then just kept going in sections, doing the hot glue. And when you, when I folded it, it, it creased a little bit. So I'll go back in and touch that up with some of the paint, just making sure that it fits all nicely and hot gluing it around the other chimney and down the sides. And then I just touched up those areas I was talking about and did two coats of the burnt umber paint on those chimneys and touched up any spots on the roof that needed it. And that's it for this project. I am so happy with how this turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching.